Welcome back. We're here at the annual Buckeye Farm Antiques Tractor Show, and with me is Doug Smurgy. And uh, Doug's uh, standing here uh, uh, with uh, a tractor that's pretty near and dear to his heart. Uh, you know, some tractors have a connection, some don't. This one does have a lot of connection for you. But you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, Doug, and, uh, and then we can kind of talk a little bit about your connection with the tractor. Um, hi, my name's Doug Smurgy. Uh, I'm here with uh, Smurgy and Sons. Uh, here uh, with uh, we bring all the tractors here. I'm the one of the grandsons of uh, all the brothers that of the owners of all these. Uh, so we, uh, I'm with uh, all the uh, brothers of the tractors. Well, you know, uh, every like I said, some tractors have connections and some don't. But this one uh, has a special connection to you, and I'd like you to just tell us a little bit about that. Well, this uh, tractor came from my grandpa, uh, Dan Chaub. He, we farmed on it, uh, bailed, I was behind the baler with it many acres, bailed a bunch of acres of straw with it and while he drove and even before I was there they drove it and he stacked behind it. Um, one day we kind of, we got a bigger baler and this quite couldn't handle it so it kind of got retired back to the shed. We ran the auger with it and stuff like that. Um, come to a time while well, the head gasket went out in it so it kind of got put on the back burner and really didn't get used. I wanted to use it and grandpa said well I'll give it to you. Said, take it on your project yourself, redo it, you know, get it running again, and uh, he said, you can have it. I, I, I was flying on cloud nine at the time. I was 12 years old, and I, I had a tractor, and I, I wanted to do something with it. So we uh, got a new, uh, we redid the motor, um, got a new head, got it running. I redid a lot of gaskets in it. So I wanted to use it. I cultivated probably 50 acres of corn with it. I wanted to work all the tweaks out before I got it all repainted because I didn't want it to leak or anything like that. So um, I, after about three years of using it, getting all the tweaks worked out of it, got it running good, and uh, me and my dad decided to, uh, we're gonna restore it. It took a little over a year to get it all um, sanded down, power wash, you know, all the stuff, the hard labor that goes into it, uh, the amount of labor hours that you have and stuff like this. Um, my dad paints all of our tractors. Um, he does a wonderful job. And it was a kind of a family thing again um, with my dad's a painter, other uncles, they work on the motors. I mean, each brother has their own specialty in our uh, in our uh, family. So, I mean, it's nice that all of us are together and one can come over and help us um, figure out the whole situation. So, yeah, I'm real grateful for my grandpa giving to this to me. Um, he, uh, he seen, we took a picture of it before um, we uh, restored it, got that, and uh, he, uh, we took a picture after and he passed away this last February. And I put him back on the seat to drive it home one day. His eyes lit up and he was so proud, not of just me, but just to seeing what it could be. So yeah, that, that made me feel good too. That So yeah, that's a little bit of story what behind this one. It's pretty close to the heart and uh, it uh, will never leave. Well, you know, uh, you know, Doug, that's uh, uh, always something as I said, with a lot of with a lot of these pieces of equipment, either you, like me, you drove them when you were a kid, or you have some connection, and you know, uh, you know, my grandfather owned this piece of equipment or owned that piece of equipment. So uh, it was nice visiting with you. Thanks for being with us today. Hey, thank you guys. Appreciate it for being here.